Hi guys and Happy New Year! I hope you all had an absolutely fantastic New Year and welcome to January. It is time for my Best in Beauty 2012 as I'm calling it this year or year long favourites. Now I don't generally do a December favourites partly because I don't really try many new products in December because I'm buying presents for other people and partly because it's the perfect time to kind of look back and see what are my top favourites from the year. Now in 2012 I discovered loads and loads and loads of different products but they're not all necessarily new releases, some of them might be, um, but some of them are kind of old classics that I've discovered. But without further ado, I'm going to be telling you all about my favourite beauty, skincare, hair care products that I have been absolutely loving this year and I kind of couldn't live without. So to start off with makeup, and I'm going to kind of go as I put makeup on because it kind of makes sense to me. So for foundation there have been two clear kind of winners this year in terms of what I've been loving and they are both from Shiseido. They are the Shiseido Perfect Refining Foundation and the Shiseido Sun Protection Liquid Foundation which is the waterproof version. Now I absolutely love both of these foundations, they are both fantastic, give a kind of medium to high coverage, a gorgeous gorgeous finish. This one has a little bit more coverage um, and this one has a little bit more of a natural effect and this one is very very waterproof but I would thoroughly thoroughly recommend both of them. And just a bit of a disclaimer before I carry on talking about all my favourite products, most of these will have either been reviewed um, on my YouTube channel here or over on my blog so in the info bar below I'll include any links if you want to see a full review of each of these products but these have been my go-to foundations this year. Um, I absolutely love both of them. I probably couldn't choose between them. Every time I use another one I fall more in love with it so absolutely love both of these and they are just wonderful. Um, for concealer again I've got two and they're both drugstore. I actually find that drugstore concealers tend to be really 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 good and I honestly really don't see the worth in spending like 15-20 pounds on a concealer because all of my favourite concealers are drugstore or high street ones. The first one is Maybelline's Dream Lumi Touch Concealer and this is kind of interchangeable with the L'Oreal um, is it L'Oreal, Lumi, something? They're basically the same. They're made by the same company. They're pretty much the same product. Fantastic alternative to YSL Touche Eclat. Conceals, highlights, amazing for under your eyes, and it's pretty much the only thing I've been using this year under my eyes. Um, I've also been loving, of course, my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. Super high coverage, super thick. Um, stays on all day. Amazing. Four pounds. You cannot... Um, go wrong with this, you really can't, it's so, so good. As for blush, I've pretty much used my NARS, um, I think it's Dan Mari palette, this was limited edition, but I've been using this all the time, the whole year, I bought it in January, it doesn't even look like I've used it, that's how long the NARS blushes last. Sin is my ultimate favourite, but in general just this palette has been an absolute must have for me, especially when you're travelling because it's just six blushes in one and it's like the size of two large blushes, so love that. And then also another kind of honourable mention must go to NYX, this is my Dusty Rose blush, but I've also got a couple of cream blushes from NYX that I've been absolutely loving that I bought in June. Um, I just think NYX blushes are great, great value for money and you can buy them in the UK now. I think they're about £5. Um, they have a website which I'll put in the info bar below. Um, I didn't have like a favourite bronzer this year. I had a few favourites, definitely an Elizabeth Arden one and the Lizelle one I liked. But in terms of ones that have made a lasting impression and I couldn't live without, um, I haven't gone for a bronzer. I have however picked out two choices in eyeshadow. The first one is my MAC Quartet which I've put together. Um, which was kind of my daily staple in and amongst a few other things this year. It's Orb, Naked Lunch, Sable and Espresso. Perfect kind of nude, neutral, everyday eye. Absolutely love all of these colours and they've got so much use. Um, I definitely kind of couldn't live without this. And the palette is actually the old one from a couple of years ago and it's getting a bit doesn't actually close properly and stay shut, so I may need to upgrade the palette that I keep this in. And the second eyeshadow that I've discovered this year and I think is absolutely fantastic is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. Um, I first got one of these, I don't know if it was this year or last year, but I've definitely started using them a lot more this year. I'm pretty sure it was this year. Um, this is Amber Rush, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm pretty sure you can only get this in the States, but I have a couple of others as well. I think Sahara... Saharan Treasure or something like that. All of them are absolutely lovely. They're so soft, pigmented, just really, really amazing quality for the money that you pay. Absolutely love these, I think they're great. For other eye products, there's been two eyeliners that have really kind of stolen the show this year in terms of what I've been using and other stuff that I've tried. The first one is the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliners, fantastic waterproof, um, twist up. This is the nude one, which is called Rue Bon Apart, but I've also got the black one and the turquoise one. The only problem with these is that they are really expensive. But 
towards the end of the year, Rimmel saved the day and brought out these, which are the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Coral Kajal Eyeliners. Absolute amazing dupe for um, the NARS ones. They also do a great nude colour, which can be kind of hard to find, but both of these eyeliners. The NARS is a lot more expensive, and in hindsight, now that the Rimmel ones come out, I would definitely purchase the Rimmel one over it because it's cheaper, but I did use the NARS one for most of the year, so I thought it deserved an honourable mention. Um, for mascara, there have been two mascaras that I have loved this year. The first one is kind of a rediscovery, an old favourite for me, and it's the YSL Effect Faux Seal Mascara in Shocking, so it's the Shocking Mascara. This is fantastic, absolutely amazing, thick, luscious, volumised lashes. If you like that kind of doll-eyed effect, this is definitely for you. It's not cheap, but it is amazing. Um, as for a drugstore option, I've kind of fallen back in love with my Physician's Formula Organic Wear um, mascara. I had one of these probably 18 months ago, used it up, loved it, but because you can't buy them in the UK, I never bought another one. Um, and then Tati from Glam Life Guru actually gave me one when I was in LA in November and I've totally fallen back in love with it. And I think they're about $10, so if you are in the States, definitely good. And I, they're like 98, 100% natural in fact, which is always good if you're putting stuff near your eyes, I think. That's a bonus. Love that. And the packaging is kind of crazy too. I also have a few brushes that have been my ultimate favourite during 2012. I bought them in June at IMATS in LA. They are my Hakuhodo brushes. These are just two of them. Um, they're the most expensive brushes I've ever bought. It's the first time I've ever really spent a lot of money buying brushes, but they are 100% worth it. They're so soft. The quality is beautiful. Um, and I will definitely be getting some more at the next IMATS that I go to um, because they're wonderful. So yes, I love those. And then last but not least, makeup wise, there have been two lip products this year that have really kind of blown me away and I couldn't live without them now. The first one is the Corez Lip Butters. Now I was so late on the bandwagon with these because these became popular probably a few years ago and were the kind of the big thing, everyone was raving about them. Um, I first tried them this summer and I've just fallen in love with them. I've got about four of the flavours, they're absolutely amazing. Moisturising, really nice tint, you can't really go wrong, they taste good. I absolutely love these. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I have to say about those. Um, in terms of lip colour, the ultimate favourite product that I've discovered this year has to be the YSL Glossy Stains, um, more specifically in number 10, which has become my kind of favourite signature red. If I'm wearing red lipstick, there's a 99% chance it will be that. Um, this one is number 7, which is a gorgeous nude, and I've also got a fuchsia. Um, they're super glossy, they stay on for absolutely hours, they taste yummy, the finish is just like nothing else I've ever tried, and the application, they're just a really kind of unique product, absolutely love them. They're really expensive, again, £25, but one of the things this year that I think has been really, really worth it. I love that, and I've used mine so much, so love those. So moving on to skincare, I've been really loyal with my skincare this year, and I've tended to stick with the same things for a very long time. The first major discovery of this year, for me, um, has been Prevage. Triple Defence Shield. Now, this is from Elizabeth Arden, and it is really expensive. It's £55, but, in my opinion, totally worth it. It's almost just changed the way my skin was working. I have been switching up my um, skincare products willy-nilly here and there for the last couple of years, and my skin was just really kind of feeling the effects. I absolutely love this. SPF 50, it works as a moisturiser as well, although they do recommend that you can use a moisturiser as well as this, but for me this is the one product that I need. Absolutely love it, don't really need a serum with it, there, haven't, there hasn't been a serum that I have thought has been kind of worth getting into this video, but this is amazing, so uh, absolutely love that. I did a whole skincare kind of routine video a while back now, which I'll also link in the info bar below, and most of the products haven't changed, so um, go and check that out if you want to know kind of how I use it, when I use all my products and things like that. Another thing that I have totally fallen in love with this year and jumped on the bandwagon with is Bioderma. This is a kind of makeup artist um, staple product. It's very, very famous. You can only buy it um, easily in France, although they do now sell it in Harvey Nichols in London, where I believe they sell it as a kind of inflated price, I think it's £15 for the smaller bottle. If you can get one of these, or numerous bottles of these from France, they're about um, 10 to 15 euros for a big bottle of 500ml, lasts for ages, works like a dream, like no other makeup remover I've ever used. I was kind of swayed by This Works 5-in-1 um, Beauty Water for a while, but I've come back to this and I'm determined that it is better. For masks, there have been two kind of treatments that I've been using on my skin this year that I think are fantastic and that are 
I've almost finished up both of them because they're just so wonderful and I've barely used anything else. Um, the first one is Alpha H's Liquid Gold, which is more of a treatment than a mask. Um, it's like a liquid, it's almost like a toner in consistency. You put it on clean skin before you go to bed and you wake up with a kind of almost new face. Like, it really makes a difference in the morning. You can really tell when you've used it. Um, it's about £30, but it lasts for a long time. I've had this for ages and it's probably got about a quarter left. Lovely, lovely product. I use it once, twice a week. You can use it every other day, but I don't use it that much. It's just, yeah, really, really good. And it's also great for scarring or if you're suffering from acne, it can help to really clear up your skin as well. The next product is probably the best kind of classical face mask type product I've ever used. It's Ren's Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. Um, absolutely amazing. I've never really used a mask where I've seen the results instantly, where it just hasn't made my skin look red for a while and then look slightly better, and you kind of don't really know the effects. This, honestly, like, just makes your skin really glowing after you use it. I can't really say any bad things about it at all. Love it. It smells nice. It's a little bit greasy when you apply it. It's kind of an interesting texture. It's kind of like a, um, oily gel, uh, but it's really, really good, and I love it. So that is it for my skincare, and moving on to body products. There are only two things that have really blown me away this year. The first one is my Corez Body Butter. Again, with Corez, I just absolutely love the brand. I think they are lovely, I love the packaging, I love the smells, I love the formula, um, and they are a really high percentage of natural ingredients as well. This is 93.5% natural, it's the Fig Body Butter. I love anything Fig, but this is really wonderful. It absorbs beautifully into the skin and leaves it really kind of moisturised and nice. It's really thick, but it's not like it's overloading your skin. Really lovely. I think it's about £12. Um, mine's lasted for a while actually, but um, yeah, love that. And then my other favourite has been my Aromatherapy Associates Ultimate Bath and Shower Oil Collection. I got this for Christmas last year and I, it's probably like still about half full, over half full. These things last forever. I love this collection because you just have nine different choices instead of buying like one of their full size ones, which I think is about £45 and this is about £50, although it's probably on sale now because it's Christmas um, limited edition. Their bath oils are fantastic, and if you do just have one favourite, it might be worth kind of buying the full size, but personally for me, I like kind of changing my mind and testing things out. Um, you probably get about five baths out of each um, vial, and they smell wonderful, you just... Oh, they're just fantastic and I love this. If you want a kind of luxury present for somebody and you know they like bathing and bath things, this is like the ultimate. As it says, the ultimate bath and shower oil collection. Moving on to hair bits and pieces again, there are only two products this year that have really, really stood out for me. Um, the first one being the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I absolutely fell in love with Unite's seven seconds leave-in conditioner last year. I still love it, I still think it's great. This might be slightly better. I'm kind of undecided whether or not it's better, but um, yeah, it's kind of easier to get hold of because recently they've had it in TK Maxx at 12 99 Apparently the RRP is £26 in England, which is really expensive. I'm really surprised by that. Um, but yeah, this is really, really fantastic stuff. If you have thick, tangly, dry hair and you hate brushing it, this stuff will help you out because I honestly can't get hair brushed through my hair when it's wet um, unless I have any kind of leave-in conditioner and this stuff, it just brushes straight through. For a mask, you guys will have heard about this quite a lot recently. Um, it's been a fairly recent discovery over the last couple of months. Charles Worthington um, Intense Rescue Melting Balm. It's amazing. You melt it between your hands, put it in your hair and it honestly leaves you with like your hair feels like you just had a haircut or it's like new hair. It's so soft, so smooth. You leave it in for 20 minutes before you shampoo and condition your hair um, and it's wonderful. I believe it's about £16. Um, you can get it in boots. It smells amazing as well. It smells like Anna Sui perfume that I used to have when I was like 15. It's so weird. It like takes me back smelling it. Um, but this stuff is great. Really, really great. It, it really impressed me. As for styling, I don't actually have any products, but I do have an electrical. My curling wand, which is the Remington Pearl Pro, I think. It's the CI 9532. It ranges from about 20 to £30, pounds, depending on where you buy it. I haven't really used any other curling iron since I got this, because I just really like the size and intensity of the waves it makes, just kind of perfect for me, exactly what I want, um, and it's fairly affordable, absolutely love it. So that gets a big thumbs up from me. As for perfume, there's only one perfume favourite that I've been really stuck on this year, and I keep going back and back and back to. Um, it's going to be no surprise for any of you guys, it's Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. Um, 
I got to meet Taylor this year which was totally awesome and it made me love her even more and love her perfume even more um, but even before that I bought this in January when I was over in LA and I've used it, it's been in a monthly favourites like every three months since then so I've kind of dabbled into various other perfumes but I always come back to this, I love it, it's really sweet but almost quite sour at the same time, um, it's quite sharp, I really like it, I love the bottle and everything so um, if you haven't smelt this already I definitely recommend it if you like sweet perfumes. Yeah so this has definitely been my perfume kind of go to in 2012. As for nails, definitely my two favourite shades this year have been two that I bought at the same time but they really have just kind of stayed there in my mind as being like the best colours that I own. Um, they're both from Butter London and I think they were from their spring collection uh, but you probably still can get them online. They are Disco Biscuit and Knackered. I absolutely love both of these, they're obviously really different. Um, Disco Biscuit is a kind of really really bright fuchsia with blue glitter in it but it dries to almost kind of like matte finish, like a real textured finish, which is very unique and that's what I find with a lot of Butter London polishes. They look really pretty in the bottles and you're like, oh wow, really nice, but maybe not that original, but a lot of the time the finish is what makes them kind of worth that little bit extra money and also um, just in general makes them unique because at the end of the day, like, I have so many nail polishes and it's really hard for me to find something that is new and different and actually makes people go, oh, that nail polish is really cool. Um, but Butter London seem to kind of do it and these two are definitely my favourites. So I love those. There's a little heart around them for you. Um, and yeah, that is it for my 2012 beauty favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it wasn't too long. I think it's probably has about twice the amount of products as a normal monthly favourites video. If you guys like to make videos then feel free to post a video response to this video telling me what are your beauty favourites of 2012 because I'm always looking for new things to kind of try and review and test out. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'd love to know what you've been loving this year. If not, make sure you let me know in the comments section below and watch out this weekend for a haul. I know I tweeted about doing this video and also doing a sales haul because I have done a little bit of shopping in the sales um, and about which one you guys would like to see most or first uh, and it was totally 50-50. So I'm posting this video first but make sure you watch out for that video over the weekend and I will see you then. Bye!